Why don't you just follow me and do as I do? <laughs> Shannon. <laughs> Good. Well, the betting process is just a formality, really. I'm sure your memberships will go through no problem. All right, all right! Calm down! I wasn't even looking for you! I was trying to find the tasty bums! <laughs> Dad! Hello, Betty. What are you doing here? You said you weren't coming. I wasn't going to. And then I met this woman, and it all went a bit pear-shaped. Pear-shaped? How rude. Not you. You're more like two mangoes and a celery stick. <laughs> believe this. Is there a problem here? There certainly is. This man's not a yoga teacher. What? Well, it's a load of mumbo jumbo anyway. Lying around on mats for hours. Typical Indians. Lazy buggers. <laughs> That's offensive. And what's worse is you hoity-toity English people's falling for it. <laughs> Dad, don't ruin this for me. Shazia, I'm not ruining anything. How did you get in here? He gave me his pass. <laughs> That's not really allowed. We have a very strict security policy. Quite right. You can't be too careful these days. There's a lot of nutters about. <laughs> oh, Twandy! Oh, my God, that's him! That's the man who pushed me out of a window! Stay away from me! I'm a married man! Tell me what is going on! Nothing. I've never met her before. <laughs> pushed me out of a window? OK. I met her on an internet dating site. <laughs> I thought she was a man! <laughs> She was supposed to be Omar Ghul. Then she turned up with a mask in her dress. Omar Ghul would never turn up with a mask in her dress. He pushed me out of a window. Okay, then I pushed her out of a window. Why are you doing this? You don't understand. She likes Pakistani men. I'm having second thoughts. Right, time to leave. This is supposed to be an exclusive club. Don't worry, madam. I'll sort this out. Come on, this way. Well, I've got to get my phone. I hope you're going to prosecute. Well, you think you're going to meet Imran Khan and then you meet some weirdo in a cheap suit. Uh, hold on a minute. My dad is not a weirdo. He's a respectable middle-aged man. You can't treat him like a criminal. Whatever he's done, there'll be a perfectly reasonable explanation. He pushed me out of a window. You probably deserved it. <laughs> and as for you... We won't be joining your gym after all, so you can stick your application form. And we don't live in Solihull. We live in Sparkill. And my name's not Shannon, it's Shazia. And mine's Amjad. <laughs> Come on, Dad. We're going. What about your mother? <laughs> Mum? We're going. I don't want to join this place after all. Oh, thank God. 